Okay, so let's take a look at this question number three here in this unit. Now, this is an application of the quadratic formula um, using a, a physics question, physics formula, that plots how an, an object um, behaves when it's thrown into the air. So it's essentially what's happening here is gravity is acting on the object and it allows us to um, determine a predictable path for the object. Um, so the first thing we can look at here in this equation, okay, it's, the equation is given as h, which is, stands for height, is equal to negative 4.9 times t minus 3.38 squared plus 56. So that is in the same form as our other um, per general parabola equation. Okay, and we do know right off the bat that this is a parabola that is going to be turned, that's facing downwards or, or turned down. Um, which means that it is going to have a maximum height um, and then it's going to come back. So if we were to have to, having to sketch this just prelim preliminarily, okay, it would essentially kind of look like this. Okay, it would be where you throw something up, it goes to a maximum height, and then it falls back to the ground. Okay, so it starts on the ground and then it ends to the ground and goes to a certain height. Okay, now the trick is like how do we interpret this and how could we plot this? Okay, so the first thing to notice is that these numbers are decimals, okay, and they're not precise um, integer values. So it's it's very hard to use a data table in order to, to plot these uh, and to, to kind of get any kind of accurate value. So what, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to rewrite this in terms of something that's a little bit more familiar, um, and then we're going to use um, our Desmos graphing tool in order to solve those problems here. Okay, so first of all, we have our equation here, which is h. So I'm going to just rewrite this as y equals negative 4.9 times x minus 3.38 squared plus 56. Okay, this just gives us something too easier to work with when we type it into Desmos because we're, we're used to, to using values of x and y instead of h and t. But t is your equivalent to your horizontal axis and h is equivalent to the vertical axis. All right, so the questions we're asked to look at here is what is the maximum height reached by the golf ball? So the maximum height is going to be essentially the point where the vertex is. Okay, so we're going to have to locate that maximum height somewhere on the graph. And then how much time did it take for the, um, the ball to, to reach maximum height? So that's something that we can get from the graph um, when we, we are looking at it. And how much time did, it, did the ball take to reach the green? So that's the time it takes to come back when the ball lands. So remember, you throw it up, it starts, climbs to a maximum height, and then falls back down. Okay, and then there's a certain time for that. And then we can look at the domain and the range for this function here. Okay, so let's take a look at what this is going to look like. So I'm going to switch over to Desmos here. I'm going to clear any other um, functions I've got. And we're going to type in y equals, okay, now it's negative 4.9. Okay, and we'll use x minus 3.38, um, close the bracket squared, okay, plus 56. So now here is our graph, okay? So this is an interesting graph. So it cuts through at zero, zero, which is the origin. So if you think about it, that's our starting point from when we throw the ball up. Okay, the ball is initially at a zero height, okay, and at zero time, okay, and then the ball's maximum height is the vertex up here, okay, so it doesn't go higher than um, a coordinate point here, which is 3.38, and it's 56, so the 3.38 is the time, because remember, the x-axis, the horizontal axis is time, and the vertical axis is height. So the maximum height this reaches is 56, um, I don't know, whatever the unit is, meters or feet, okay, in 3.38 seconds. And then when does the ball actually come back down to Earth again? So the equation models that and tells us that it is at 6.7761 seconds, okay, is when the ball returns to zero. So this is essentially the function that we're looking at, okay? We don't really care about what it going below the x-axis because that wouldn't make um, any kind of physical sense in terms of time 
okay, or distance, okay, so the lowest distance we can have is a zero. We start at a zero and we return at a zero, okay, and at, and at a certain time. So now that we've identified the shape of our graph and our points, okay, we can just go back to our equation and take a look at this here. So what is the maximum height reached by the golf ball? Well, the, the vertex is what we are looking for, okay, and we know the vertex was at 3.38 seconds and 56. So the maximum height, max height is equal to 56 in whatever units they're, they're working at. How much time did the ball take to reach the maximum height? Well, we know that the maximum height at 56 took a time because that's the other coordinate. The time is equal to 3.38 seconds. Okay, so that one coordinate gives us those two, two uh, amounts. And how much time did the ball take to reach the green? So that is the coordinate where it crosses the x-axis. That's one of the x-intercepts. So it is 6.761 seconds, goes to zero height. Okay, and then remember there's also another coordinate, zero. Zero was the origin. Um, so at zero seconds, the ball was also zero heights. So it took 6.67 seconds to get to the green. So the time to green okay, is simply equal to 6.761 seconds. Okay, and then we wanted to state the domain and the range of this function. So remember the domain is the values that we can use on the x-axis. So the domain is time, okay, and we can only really use numbers between 0 and 6.76 seconds. Okay, so if we to write it correctly, we would say the domain is between less than 6.67 seconds but greater than or equal to zero seconds, okay? Because we, we won't, we're not taking values anywhere outside of that range. It, it doesn't physically um, correspond to anything to be um, in terms of a negative, negative height, okay? And then the range is simply all the values between um, it leaving the ground, so that's zero, okay? So our height is got to be greater than zero, but less than the maximum height less than or equal to actually the maximum height, which is 56. Okay, so it's a little different way to explain the domain and range because this function is only truly valid physically in the parts where it makes sense. Okay, even though that the parabola has parts to it um, that, that you can graph, which, but which don't correspond to any physical situation. Okay, so that's how that question works. Um, it's a good problem because it's an application of, um, of a physical formula okay that that plots um, the direction of an object and it shows you how the math can be used to predict and precisely um, locate where that object can be